I'm Hanata Proa, and I'm going to talk about statistical modeling of social networks, more specifically, about how to determine relations of influence in social networks. So today, today world's most valuable companies are the tech giants, Google, Amazon, Facebook, Apple, and Microsoft. And not occasionally, these are the companies that own the most popular social media in present days. Social media allows us to interact with people that are far away from us and with many people at the same time just by scrolling through our timelines. This substantially increases the number of people that exert influence over us. And it is already very well known that this, these companies trace our profiles, including our net of contacts, and that this knowledge grants them power of manipulation through techniques such as fake news dissemination, use of bots, personalized ads, and several others. But how could we study and better understand the effects of this deeply connected network of people that we see in social media? Moreover, is it possible to know who really influences each one of these people immersed in this complex network only from their manifestations on these platforms, which is probably the most important information if one wants to manipulate a group of people? All right, in order to answer this question, we'll use a mathematical stochastic model of social networks as simple as possible while still maintaining the main features that make it realistic. And we'll conduct computational simulations on this model to better visualize how it really evolves. Then we'll briefly dis discuss how the structure of the influence network might lead to the establishment of consensus between the subjects. And finally, we'll explore an approach to retrieve the relations of influence from the sequence of the actor's manifestations. So to construct our model of social network, we'll first consider a set of subjects, which we'll call social actors, that opine on a single theme. So in our model, at each time t, an actor emits an, its opinion on this given theme, and this opinion can be either in favor or against. By emitting its opinion, an actor influences the many others on its network of influences, and then resets its conviction to zero, awaiting for the others to react. The system's evolution can be described by the evolution of this random variable UAT, which characterizes the social pressure over A, or more or less equivalently, actor A's conviction at time T. We'll call it actor A's potential at time T, and it's given by the sum of the opinions emitted by the influencers of actor A since the time A last emitted an opinion until time T. We associate the actor and the opinion choice probabilities to a function of actor's potentials at time t in a way that the probability of an actor being chosen increases exponentially within the module of its potential. Similarly, the probability of an actor choosing a given positive or negative opinion is exponentially dependent on the module of its potential in the corresponding direction, meaning if it's positive or negative. The transition probabilities also depend on a polarization parameter beta in a way that the higher the value of beta, the more the social pressure increases. The more the social pressure increases, and the less probably an actor goes against it. Therefore, the higher the polarization, the more deterministically the process evolves. In order to estimate the relations of influence from the sequence of manifestations, we may notice that for any pair of actors A and B, if actor B does not influence actor A, then actor A's sequence of manifestations does not depend on actor B's manifestations. In this concern, we may assume the intuitive fact that the time intervals between the manifestation of an actor and another should be statistically smaller if the first one influences the second. Formally, if we measure a sequence of time intervals tau A between random instants and the manifestations of actor A, and compare it with a sequence of time intervals between the manifestation of another actor B and the manifestation of actor A, namely tau AB, then we may assume that in case actor B influences actor A, the values in tau AB should be statistically smaller than the values in tau A. In order to test this hypothesis through computational simulations, we'll use random graphs as network influence. More specifically, we'll use oriented erdos reni graphs, where all actors have the same probability p of influencing one another. So what we did was to simulate the evolution of a social network with 50 actors and erdos reni graphs, providing the relations of influence within 100,000 time steps. 
And then we compare the, sequ the sequences tau A and tau AB for all pairs of vectors to infer if actor B influenced actor A, and with that, estimate the entire influence network. We did this for Edelstringy graphs with different connection probabilities. So what we noted from our computational simulations was that highly connected networks lead to the rapid establishment of unanimity, as we may see in this example, where this is the evolution of a less connected network. And this is evolution of a highly, highly connected network. So comparing the time intervals between actors' manifestations in a network described by a slightly subcritical graph, we were able to estimate the network of influences with full accuracy, and the same for a network described by critical Erdos-Renyi graphs. For a supercritical network, we obtained an accuracy of 99.3%. And interestingly, if we decrease beta, as the process becomes less deterministic, the accuracy decreases, decreases too. So we may conclude that, in fact, it is possible to predict true relations of influence in a network only by the sequence of subjects' manifestations. And however, the more connected the network, the harder to predict, the more polarized the network gets, the easier it is to do so. So there is this very interesting trade-off between highly connected networks that lead to consensus phenomena, that is what we would want in order to manipulate it a group of people, and a difficulty of predicting the relations of influence that is what we would need to manipulate, which we can overcome by increasing the polarization in the network. So this model uh, of social network we used in this work is an original model introduced by Kajimo Lasha in his PhD thesis under the supervision of Professor Antonio Galvez. And the method presenter here was inspired by a method introduced by statistician David Brillinger to identify point processes. And this works part of University of Sao Paulo project, uh, Mathematics, Computational Language and the Brain, and for past three projects, Research, Innovation and Dissemination Center for Neuromathematics. Thank you.